And now, a can't-miss moment from The Charlie James Show. You know, in, in Mark Levin's book, um, American Marxism, he talks about how the, uh, the revolution never ends. There is no end to the revolution. There always has to be the, re- the, the revolution. The revolution is there on its own, and it's, it's, a, it's a being that constantly has to be fed by the Democrat Party. So we had racial issues in this country pretty much figured out until Obama. And then once Obama was elected president, he started the uh, new racial divide in America. And he, oh, remember that when he was talking, when he called out the uh, the, the police in Philadelphia and, and all of that, something a president should never do. But... He did, and really started dividing the gap between the races again. So we as America, we, 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 like I said, we pretty much had it figured out, but that wasn't good enough because heaven forbid, they don't want whites, blacks, Asians, and Hispanics getting along. Oh, if that were to happen, that would be the end of the Democrat Party. So they have to always stoke the fires of division. Same thing is happening with women now. Same thing. So women struggled for equality. They struggled for equal pay. They struggled for equal representation. They struggled for uh, a college scholarships like under Title IX. They struggled for those things. And then they got them. And now, to further stoke more division... What do we have? You've got biological males competing against women for all of these things. All of these things. Because the Democrats are the party of division. That's what they want. That's how they make their money. Because that's what their donors do. Okay? Now, now, are you ready? Listen to this. When we were coming up, you know, and especially in the 70s and the 80s, early 90s, you started hearing about, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't see race. You should not see race. When someone is standing in front of you, you should just see a human being. You just just, should just see an American in front of you. You should not see race. Now they want you to see race. In fact, they require you to see race. This is coming from the New England Journal of Medicine, one of the most prestigious medical journals in the country. They published a research uh, paper suggesting that medical students should be separated and taught based on their race. That's right. And, 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 And why is this? What is it going to do? Well, that's going to resolve the anti-racism, resolve anti-racism in the uh, curricula that they have. The long-running journal, reading from uh, Pittsburgh Courier here, the long-running journal published the controversial study on Thursday, April the 27th, which was conducted by seven researchers at the University of California in San Francisco. Surprise, surprise. The research asserts that separating students based on race allows them to learn differently and discuss their experiences without fear of pushback. Wait a minute. These are medical students. (laughs) These are medicals. What, What are you teaching in medical school these days? They say, since traditional approaches to medical education are themselves founded in inequitable systems, new approaches are essential. What inequitable systems are there? Well, I tell you what we're going to have to do now. We're just going to have to separate black welders from white welders. We're going to have to separate black pipe fitters from white pipe fitters. We're going to have to separate black farmers and white farmers. We're going to have to separate. In fact, heck, we're just going to have to separate the entire workforce of the United States into white and black. I thought this was something we were not supposed to do. 
Let's go to, uh, well, we'll get to uh, the Dean later on. I, I'm just not ready for that just yet. But there's a group called the Racial Affinity Group. The caucuses, um, uh, they say, the approach tailors areas to foc- um, of focus to each identity group to supplement and differentiate the education received in racially integrated spaces, enabling participants to progress more effectively through the next stages of learning. Racial Affinity Group caucuses, facilitated sessions for learners who join groups and uh, according to a self, self-identified self racial or ethnic identity, can help integrate anti-racism curricula into clinical practice. So, I'm not getting it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I thought we were supposed to be beyond this. So now we're going to have to separate black fry cooks from white fry cooks? I don't think so. Don't miss the Charlie James Show. Weekdays 3 to 7 on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D. The voice of the Carolinas.